How's it going, everyone? It's your girl, Rocket Gal, and welcome to another summoning session. We've got Thresha 776 back at it again. Oh, man, I'm really excited about these staff units and rearmed Reinhardt, so without further ado, let's get into it. Yeah, definitely thought Reinhardt was a little overdue for an alt, to be honest. I mean, it's the Reinhardt. He, he needs an alt, right? The last one was like a dancer alt from way back, what, like three? or four years ago like that's insane so he definitely needed an alt in my opinion i know he got that resplendent but i mean come on we gotta get another alt for the reinhard you know the og like free to play king he was awesome and i hope this new reinhard is just as cool so yeah yeah really excited about getting a copy of him and the two sisters uh Sa safi or the safi i'm just gonna say safi and tina um, yeah, so in case you're curious about the rates on this banner, here are what they look like. Um, yeah, it's, it's a little sad that the colorless rate is so low between two units. That's insane. It is what it is with colorless hell. Um, and even, even the Reinhardt is getting hit by, uh, that three per, less than three percent man that is rough wow this is a really good circle yeah we're only going to go for blue and colorless and once i get enough if, once i get Safi and tina i'm just going to skip on the colorless as well and just go for reinhard merges and then i guess i'll go for red as well well laura i was excited for laura because finally we got the thracia dancer in the game but i don't know if i necessarily want to get her just yet um, because, you know, the Reinhardt's not going to be here for long, but Laura, she's sticking around. So maybe I'll just skip on red as well for now. For now, I will just skip on that. Um, but yeah, overall, pretty excited that it was Thrasher again. I know a lot of people were hoping it was going to be, um, what was it? it engage? Uh, I feel like we are definitely overdue for an Engage banner again. Um, and I wouldn't mind, because I would love to get either the Illusion or the Solm people in the game. Uh, definitely need them. Oh my god, another Merlinus. Another reposition fodder. Poggers. So yeah, um, covers the rates. Uh, now let's talk about some refines. We got some pretty decent refines this time around. None of them were like game-breaking or anything, but they were pretty cool, nonetheless. So let us go over them. Um... I'm not gonna like read directly or anything. I'm just gonna kind of sum them up. So the corn, the legendary corn refine, was actually pretty good. Um, having shield pulse built into the weapon is kind of hilarious because, well, I guess they did replace that shield pulse with. Oh my god, my first will! Yes! Oh my god, I know it's not like a fight or anything, but I haven't gotten will at all, man. So you're the summoner. I'm Will, Master Marksman. No, no, the pleasure's all mine. Nice! Plus speed, baby! Is he a- I, I don't think he's gonna be a merch project for me. I just wanted my one Will. It's about fucking time. What's his- God. Spotter is basically bad. Um, how are we still getting push skills in 2024? Or I guess when he released 2023, like... Like, IS gotta be trolling us, man. Uh, and his normal weapon is not very good, but it is what it is. Res up, or er, Rally up Res is not bad, so that's pretty cool. Finally, I'm so glad to finally get Will. It's been so goddamn long. When was his ban? Like two months ago or something? That whole time, no single Will, but a couple of Merlin. Oh my god! Oh, baby, we got Erica. Brave Erica. That is awesome. Kind of sucks her refine wasn't, like, the strongest thing in the world. It's pretty good, but it wasn't, like, insane. You know what I mean? It just wasn't, like, the greatest thing in the world. You know what? Fuck it. I'll just go in the red. I might as well try to get one Laura. You know, then we can... Then we can officially dip out of red. If I just get one Laura... And everything will be great. Anyways, back to the uh, talks of the refine. So yeah, Corn getting steel pulse in the weapon is pretty good. Uh, extra damage reduction in the weapon is also really nice. 
Um, and then what's really interesting about her thing is that if the unit has brave attacks, specifically when it says attacks twice, um, then her negating fang comes back up again. Like, immediately, immediately. So, double negating fang too. And I'm not totally sure if, like, the, the, uh, the damage, like, the in increased damage that negating fang does is also doubled as well. I'm not- I think it kind of is. It would make sense if it was, because it triggered twice, right? I- I'm pretty sure that's how that is. Based off of some of my testing, it seems that way, but I'm not- I can't be 100% sure, but I think that's how that is, which is pretty good. Pretty good. She's gonna be hitting like a truck. So, definitely Corrin got a great refine. Um, and I'm really happy that I had a good opportunity to finally upgrade her build. She was- she was- using that base kit for the longest time because I was a cheap ass, but I felt like, you know what, it's about time to give her a new build. Hey, we got an Indigo. Do you have plus speed? Come on, get plus speed. Nope, minus attack. Very nice. Very cool. Um, next was Lelena's. Lelena's, I feel like it's just, it didn't do anything super new. It's just more damage, which there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, I love more damage. And also, it has the, um, like, the hybrid, uh, thing where it goes for either defense or resistance, depending on what's lower. That's pretty good. Definitely great when she's going up against, like, super res heavy, like, mages or dragons or something. So that's pretty nice, to be honest. Um, it's almost like she has, like, uh, what's it called? Uh, Hexblade in her weapon. That's super good. So, I haven't really tested her out quite yet. I did update her build. I'm not, I don't want to show it just yet. Um, but, yeah, really happy with how Elena turned out. Oh, also, she got Kanto. Um, it's weird. It's like a... Uh, how do I even explain it? It's like a Kanto smoke-ish kind of effect. It's kind of weird. Um, it's, yeah, it's kind of strange, but pretty good. Um, at least now she can free up her B skill, so there's no Kanto there. Um, so yeah, and definitely awesome to be able to give Kanto to her allies, so Lelena, really solid refine and remix. Uh, then there's Minerva. Minerva, I do have her at plus 10, I got her form a way back when, um, her build is not very good anymore, but, uh, overall, her refine was pretty good. Nice, we got a Laura! Step Lively. I'm Laura of the Magi. I hope to help in whatever way I can. I wonder if they're ever gonna do like a, a Laura as a thief. I guess this is kind of close. She's got a, a knife. And clothes is super revealing. It's kind of awesome actually. Yeah, this is our first, I'm pretty sure this is our first red dagger in the normal summon. Red dagger three and four star in the normal summon pool. So that's cool. I hope they do more of that stuff. You know, they, we did have the green bows, the green bow boys, uh, Python and uh, Wrath, but I wish for them to add more unorthodox, like, weapon types uh, in the 3 and 4 star pool. That would just make things cooler. And I wish Will wasn't colorless, you know? He should have been green to, like, counteract the- oh my god. That's awesome! We got another Laura! Nice! Uh, I actually didn't even check her IDs. Plus speed, awesome. That is great. Plus attack, holy shit. Less Laura summons, very awesome. Alright, well I guess we can skip on red for now. So we're not gonna be seeing much more Lauras anymore. Um, we're also gonna be skipping on green. Don't need that. Don't need it at all. Anyways, back to the Minerva refine. I thought it was pretty good. It's nice that it's got a supportive aspect to it where she is giving the um, like the blade effect to her allies and herself. That is really solid. I always find that status to be pretty good um, Especially in something like a gale force team or something. So really happy about that She also has no follow-up in her weapon which back in the old days like back in Marita times That was like oh my god you got no follow-up in your weapon like holy shit now. It's like oh I You could just get it almost anywhere in fact most feels like most weapons have no follow-up but it's pretty good. It's not bad. Um, especially for like a Grail unit, it's not too bad. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna update the build on my uh, young Minerva. Probably not. 
Actually, I probably should. I, I like Minerva a lot. I just, I'm not the biggest fan of that young Minerva alt, but it's, maybe it's time I give her a new build. But we'll have to see, we'll have to see. Uh, next up was the young Merrick refine. I thought it was really interesting. It's pretty strong too, from what I could tell. Um, he gets speed-based extra damage. I think it was like 15% of its speed, which is really, really solid. He gets half tempo, which is also really solid as well. And what's really nice is the DR piercing when his special triggers. He just gets the special spiral four effect that people care about in his weapon. That is insane. You could give him something. Yeah, what else would you want to give him for his B then? Because there's no point in giving him the magic no follow because there's no point. Uh, there's no point in giving him a special spiral four either. Um, I think w keeping him with wind sweep might not be too bad. Maybe when they come up with a wind sweep. Four, not might not be a bad option. Um, not sure what they would do with the new, with the new like wind sweep skill, but that is not my job. That is IS's job to figure out, you know. Um, so yeah, Merrick, really satisfied with his refine. I got it. Um, not sure if I'm gonna like update his build necessarily. I probably should, but I'm really starting to run out of attack speed finish water. So, I don't totally know about that yet. But yeah, Merrick got a great refine. Next up is Ferdinand Von Eyer. Uh, he got a pretty good refine for someone in 3 and 4 star pool. He got a lot of, he got a lot of effects. A little bit of everything, kind of, which makes him a nice kind of jack of all trades kind of unit, which is pretty solid. He gets the uh, unity effect. Um, he gets Omni Breaker, which isn't bad. I believe the Arcane Xiang also has Omni Breaker, so that's pretty solid that he has it in his weapon, like his preferred weapon. Ooh, nice, we got the Reinhard. Epic. My name is Reinhard. Allow me to demonstrate why Frigga's lightning magic knows no equal. Sick, all right, minus speed, oh no, this is not the Reinhard where you want minus speed on. But okay, we can, you know, we can adapt, we can get through this. All right, the Trace 4 skill is pretty interesting. I'm not sure who I want to give this to yet. It's, I don't think it's that good. I might give this to OG Reinhard to be honest. Uh, the Smoke 3 skills, yep, yeah, pretty good. Um, Thunder's Fist, that's the reason why it's a Dire Thunder. Otherwise, yeah, imagine if Arcane Thunder was a, like a, brave weapon that would have been insane similar to like the arcane dark bow which is pretty good i think it's better than the arcane nay strong so uh yeah nice to get another tome uh all right get out here okay cool happy about that we got a reinhardt so now i just gonna need, i need to find the the sisters you know they've eluded me so far i don't know what i did to it Anger colorless, but uh, oh my god, Burkut! Oh man, I'm still so sad he got such a bad refine. Like, who in IS has a stick up their ass regarding Burkut, you know? I know he's kind of a dickhole. I mean, he's definitely a dickhole, but this all at least should have been really cool because, like, his art is so sick. He's like the original duo unit. Oh my god, five stars galore! This isn't Laura, this is Lind! It's kind of insane how similar Lind looks to Laura. Actually, almost like alternate universe. Plus speed, alright, not bad, not bad. Actually, I didn't even check this, uh, Berkut's IS, er, uh, IVs. They're not bad. I think I already have a plus attack, so I don't really care either way, but alright. Let's just get out of there. Um, anyways getting interrupted by these wonderful five stars. Uh, back to the Ferdinand uh, refine. He gets extra damage from it as well. He gets some damage reduction. He also gets some healing. A lot of it's based off of like an HP uh, threshold, which is a pretty cool reference to like his personal skill in uh, Three Houses. What was it called? Like overconfidence or something. It's the, sa it's the exact same skill that Subaki has. It's like he gets avoid and hit if he has at full health. So, yeah, pretty cool that Ferdinand got something pretty awesome as a three and four star unit. Um, and yeah, 
Fernand's definitely one of my favorite characters from Three Houses. I'm not sure if I'm going to get the weapon refined just yet. Uh, you know, there's only so much dude to go around. So, I need to, uh, you know, ration it. But, uh, yeah, really happy that Fernand got one. Um, and then I didn't really pay attention to the other uh, refines, to be honest. I, I, uh, I saw Oblivion say, like, that Layla refine wasn't, like, super good. Like, it was good, but, like, it's... The, the switching mechanic uh, that it has is, like, negated due to, like, Savior skills, and since Savior skills are so meta still that, like, that's, like, so bad, you know? It would've been cool if, like, she disabled Savior skills, but maybe that would've been too insane. So... Yeah, I didn't really pay attention to that one. And then the other one was the Tokyo Mirage Session one, which... I was not very interested in, so I did not pay attention. Um, I don't think it was like super crazy or anything. I think it had sabotage in the effect. I really don't know. I really don't know. I'm not even gonna try to bullshit it my way through it. I just don't know. Anyways, let us get our spark on. Now the question is, do we go for Safi, Safi, no fuck it, I'm gonna call it Safi, or we go for Tina? Personally, I think Tina's a little bit stronger, and I think I'll be a lot less sad if I get, uh, like, if I miss out on safety for now. So let's just go for Tina just for now and hope that the RNG gods give me safety later on. I really want, I really want both the sisters, but call this hell, man. They really could have made Will a green unit, but they didn't. I'm Tina. I'm pretty good with a staff, but I'm not that great at combat. Nice to meet you. Oh boy, the buff stealer is here. It is so cool. Like, this is a great way to counteract, like, all the crazy, like, power creep, in my opinion. Like, like instead of just creating another, like, uh, status that just says, Oh, just negate the status, like, the stupid, uh, uh, what's it called? Like, the, the ploy, the ploy thing? Uh, let's just take them. I thought that was really cool. I hope they have more creative ways to counter, like, power creep and stuff, because, like, oh, if I don't have these, like, statuses, let me just take them, you know? Now you got fucking shit, like, fucking, <laughs> like, fucking Winter Dimitri found dead in, in a ditch, right? So, yeah, oh my god, this unit's just so good. Great fodder, great unit. This is a unit where I feel like you only need one copy of. I, I don't, like, you really don't need merges on her, um, of course, unless she's your favorite, then go for merges, but I really don't think she needs merges, because all you really want her to do is to steal buffs. But, I, I guess merges on her won't hurt, but, I mean, her fodder's so good. Anyways, hopefully I can get safety by the end of the summoning session. I'm still not totally sure if her... Like, effect is more like an odd such even recovery thing, or is it more like a frayer effect? I still am not totally sure on that. So I'm gonna have to test that out and see how it goes. But yeah. Um... That about covers going over refines. Um, I didn't, again, a lot of great stuff. I didn't really want to go into... a detail, because oh my god, we got Jafar! Nice! I wish you were a good unit in heroes, but you suck asshole, so it is what it is. But at least his art here looks awesome. And he, you know, he could just wield a uh, arcane void. Actually, is aren't his stats like dog shit? Like, like his attack strength is like, or his attack stat is like terrible, right? It's like really not good. But at least his art is awesome. So we take those. Um. Yeah, so, oh, another thing I want to go over is Hero's Journey. I know it's not like super intense game mode, but it's a, it's a game mode that I appreciate. So, I want to reveal who I sent out to have some fun shenanigans, and it was uh, Ishtar, it was Ascended Ishtar and the OG, the Reinhard. And it's crazy, I did not, this was, you know, all before the, um, like, the, the trailer was revealed, so I was... I think I must have subconsciously was trying to, like, beckon or or bring forth a Thracia banner because I, I had Thracia on the mind, I suppose. And I was like, all right, come on, please, please. 
And I was like, well, I don't want to do Leaf and Nana again. I already did that before, so let's go with another iconic duo from Thracia. The Reinhard and his liege, uh, Ishtar. Send it, Ishtar. Who has definitely, uh, definitely, uh, broken my heart a couple times because she's, she was... She wasn't supposed to come home, and I was supposed to get the Alfreds, but nope, she decided to be here. Anyways, enough ranting. Um, but yeah. Uh, also, the new event that they had was pretty cute. It was like, they had like sandwiches. Thought that was really cute. Um, and yeah, it was a pretty good time, as always. Hero's Journey is always really fun. Of course, it's not like a super serious game mode or anything. But I, honestly, I kind of wish we had more, less super serious game modes. But at least they're not, like, deceptively trying to make me feel like they're serious. Like, the stupid, like, auto-battle thing. Like, that's both stupid, but also, like, dumb. Like, you know, like... I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain, but I just don't like that one. But Hero's Journey is hilarious. I just wish I had more stuff like that. It's more, like... Uh, what was it? Ether Resort? Would love for more Ether Resort stuff to happen. Like... Like, more events or something, because all we have is, like, a spa and food and sleep. Like, we should have more buildings or something. I don't know what they would do, but I just want more. More fun, silly things in Faye. Instead of, uh, instead of insane competition and summoner duels where I just lose all my games immediately. I swear, I need to, like, do some sort of, like, training or something beforehand, because I just kind of go in unprepared and be like, well, let's, let's see how I do this this week, and just get absolutely blasted by the competition. It's insane. Alright, so, um, I do have some questions to answer, so let's go over some questions. Here's a question from Crosshair450. They asked, uh, which game would you like to see more seasonals of? I desperately want more Droop Droll seasonals. I am with you right there, Crosshair. Definitely, Droog Droll Seasonals have always has been my some of my favorites uh, last year. I really want more Thracia Seasonals. I know we got Lithis as a seasonal kind of way back when, um, but that was a long time ago, man. How is it they just don't slot them in as like a four-star unit, right? Um, also, Engage. I feel like Engage. Well, Engage just needs more units in the game right now um instead we just keep getting more three houses busted three houses units which is awesome but i kind of feel like we need to get more gotta get more engaged you know engage is a fun game i know people say that the game sucks but that's just that's just a wrong opinion man it's just turbo garbage opinion um definitely want more engage definitely want more droop droll yeah, that's, that's about it, to be honest. Um, so yeah, thank you so much, Crosshair, for the question. Uh, the next question is from Ali5144. Uh, they asked, uh, what do you think about the book AOCs? Um, <laughs> well, we, I don't really know much about them. Oh, you know, I just realized I didn't even play any of the story chapters yet. That's a little awkward. Um, I guess we probably learn more about Press Vega. Or Cress Velger or something in that chapter, but I haven't seen her yet. Um, but most of it, like, we don't know anything about them aside from, like, their looks and stuff. I think I like them a lot more than last book. The last book, all the characters look kind of similar. Whereas this time, they're all very different looking. We got, you know, Deer Dude. Uh, we got... The Snake Lady, who's insane, but also looks cool. We got Hress Velg. I'm gonna call her Hressvelg. Uh, she looks cool as well, um, for the most part. I like the new OC. Breda Tosker is really awesome. And then there's the other chick that I don't... I don't know. Me, none of us know anything about her, so... Like, what are we supposed to do, man? But, apart from that, like, yeah, they're... They're pretty alright. Why did I summon on that red? God. Fail! <laughs> oh my god. Um, but yeah, they're pretty alright. Um... Again, we don't know much about their personalities at all, except for, like, Rat Tosker. And I, I like Rat Tosker, so but if they're all, like, have fun, cool personalities like her, then I'm gonna like them a lot. And their designs are pretty cool. Definitely like them a lot more than Seven. A lot more. They might be even, like, rivaling, like, book 
five for me. I really like the book five designs. Um, but, uh, yeah. Definitely not book three designs. Book three is the GOAT in terms of designs for me. But book eight is pretty good. Pretty good. I give it a solid eight here. Eight here in terms of the designs. So, yeah. That's, uh, that about covers my thoughts on the book eight OCs. Thank you so much for the question. Uh, the next question here comes from Lee Duh 2966 um, and they asked uh, if we finally get fist uh, arts as a weapon type uh, legend the leader totally isn't copium I promise but you want them to make a banner with all the colors or slowly introduce um, who do you uh, who do you want to see throw hands first too from any game even those that didn't have the weapon type hmm all right yeah, we, yeah, we definitely need, like, they have to do something similar with, like, the beast thing, where, like, they just include a bunch of, like, people just boxing each other. That would be pretty cool. Um, and I want them to just introduce a color, all colors, right off the bat. Uh, if they slowly introduce it, I don't know, just gonna be pretty annoying, to be honest. And you know IS is gonna take their sweet-ass time to introduce that. So I think they should just fucking, like, rip the band-aid off and just release them all at once. That would be pretty cool. Um, in terms of who would be added as fisting slash arts characters, definitely a lot of three houses. You know, this is an opportun a golden opportunity for them to re-release some three houses units, which they love to do. Um, apart from that, I don't know. It's tough to say outside of three houses and maybe engage. Oh, definitely engage. We need to get Fram in there. Uh, Fram... Uh, OGC. Oh my god, we got a happy. Nice. That makes me happy that we got a happy. Okay, I think I said happy way too much. Um, who else would I want to see boxing in the Thunderdome? Um, yeah, I, I think for now, I don't have any ideas of who to do it seasonal or outside of like your house of engage. I just think we need to get Seed All of uh, Fram with. Uh, you know, boxing. I don't want them to just be like, I don't know, like totally, like screwed over, like ball this. Anyways, we are nearing the final summon of destiny, so let us get there. Anyway, thank you so much, Lee J two nine six six, for the question. All right, final summon. Hopefully, I could get Safi. Please, like, 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 actually, please, come on. I spent more orbs than I really planned on doing. Like, why would you do this to me? Come on. Ready to smoke, right? Come on. It's a Leon. All right. Okay. That about covers this summoning session. Not too bad. Not too bad. I got almost everyone except for a certain green-haired priest. Uh, all right. Enough salt. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the recap. Okay, so these are the units we got today. I, I also include the Laura and the Will as well, you know, gotta get the MVPs in there. Uh, yeah, we did get, we were able to get Reinhardt, not, maybe not the best IVs in the universe, but, uh, you know, at least it's great to get a copy of him. Uh, we got Tina, that she was sparked, um, and then we did get some pity breaks, uh, well, we did get two, and, um, honestly, maybe not the best summoning session in the universe, but hey, any opportunity to hang out with you guys is always a gift. So yeah, that about covers this summoning session of the latest Thracia banner. Um, yeah, let me know how you guys uh, did. Did you guys summon on this banner? Are you saving for whatever seasonal we're getting later this month? It's probably going to be some sort of desert theme. So are you going for that? Or are you going to be waiting for something cool like a legend or a mythic banner later this month? Uh, let me know in the comments below because I'm always curious about how you all are doing in the gacha landscape. In any case, I hope you all enjoyed this summoning session of the latest Thracia 776 banner. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.